Hi folks and welcome back to the ODS YouTube channel. In today's video, I will show you how to export SVG file within Adobe Photoshop. SVG file is a very popular image format, meaning scalable vector graphics. So you need to create a shape or something like that, a logo to be able to export to the SVG format. In this example, I will press the U key on the keyboard to switch to the custom shape tool just for an example then we will expand this legacy shapes and more folder expand the all legacy default shapes folder and here are all the legacy shapes which were present in the previous earlier versions of Adobe Photoshop uh, let's just expand the animals folder and from here I will take this rabbit and in the options bar make sure it says shape instead of path or you can just create your own shape or get one from somewhere else and try to export it as SVG. Hold down the shift key to create new shape as proportional and once you are done fill your shape with any color I have filled this with the orange color SVG format is a very popular format for web and some machine softwares where they only ask for the SVG files it is a scalable vector meaning you can later expand it as much you want and it won't affect the quality select the move tool and now it's time to export this shape into SVG I don't want all the extra area around so I will go to the image menu choose trim and select top left pixel color and Photoshop will automatically select the top left pixel from this document and crop all that in the document hit ok and as you can see we are only left with this rabbit shape now if you try to go to the file menu and from here choose export you can export this file to SVG but if somehow you cannot see the SVG option there let me show you choose export as the shortcut key for the export as command is alt shift control W so press alt shift control W and that will open up the export as dialog box and from the format on the right side you can see the SVG option is there there are multiple ways to export the file into SVG format but I am telling you the quickest and the easiest method so if you cannot find the SVG option here as the case was with me as I am on Photoshop CC 2023 so in latest versions Adobe has disabled this functionality from the export as command simply go to the edit menu go to preferences and there choose export option or press the control K keys on your keyboard to open the preferences dialog box and choose export from the left side from here you just need to make sure this is checked use legacy export as this was unchecked before so when I checked this one click OK then that option appeared in my export as dialog as you can see here so we have the option of SVG furthermore you can change the resolution dimensions of the current file if you want or change the canvas size here as well don't need to do much else here just click export choose desktop folder or wherever you want to save this SVG and you can name it anything you want obviously I will name it rabbit click save and that's it we have saved the SVG file 
If you don't know about SVG files, you can also add animations into the SVG files and they are controlled by the XML files. So through those XML files and through the codes, you can even change the colors on the fly using animations. So let's just try to open that file now. Press Ctrl O, go to desktop and from here choose the rabbit.svg. Here is the SVG and if you right click on it, go to properties, you can see that the file size is 2.80 KB. That's very small and that's uh, the benefit of using SVG format. So for printing purposes, most people use EPS and PDF formats, but for web and for machine softwares, SVG is a better option. And the problem here I see is that the SVG has a background of white color and that was bound to happen because I did not remove the background. This time I will hide the background layer or delete it if I want and then I will press the Ctrl Alt Shift W once again. Choose SVG, export it and replace with the previous one. Click yes. Now press Ctrl O to open. Go to desktop and let's try to open the SVG we just created. Press enter and Photoshop will ask you how much resolution you want. Remember it is a vector file so you can increase this resolution as much as you want. I think 300 is enough. Hit OK and here you have your SVG scalable vector graphic. This is how you make SVGs in Adobe Photoshop. But if you have any further question, let me know down in the comment section below. Goodbye.